Hey, ¿qué onda, carnales? What's going on? Insomnia from the Mexican Gamers Channel. So, ya está, Saúl, el Canelo Álvarez versus Josecito López, September the 15th on Mexican Independence Day weekend. The same night as we all know of the Chavez Jr. versus Maravilla Martinez fight. Unfortunately, they have to be in the same night, but before I talk about any of, any of this, you know, you're watching some Fight Night Champion. I am playing as Saúl Canelo Álvarez versus Josecito López right here. I had to download these fighters because they don't come stock with the game, so that's why they might not look exactly the same as real life. But we got a nice, a pleasant surprise in this first round. Um, a lot of people are expecting this to happen when these two face off in real life. Watch out. Big, big shot Ooh, man, there you see Canelo Alvarez knock Josecito Lopez down with the left hook. So keep in mind, keep that left hook in mind. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna return later on in this video. But yeah, man, a lot of people are expecting an early knockout from Canelo Alvarez. Que se lo va a chingar en el first round, que en el second, que en el fourth, this and that. Nah, man. I, I, I mean. I understand why people are, are doubting Josecito so much because he had never fought over 144. That was the heaviest heaviest he's ever been against Victor Ortiz, and that was at 144. He now has to, you know, challenge uh, Canelo at 154, 10 more pounds, right? So, I mean, I understand the crit, and so does Josecito. There was a, I, I read an article, and they asked him, so what, what do you feel, Josito? What, what do you what do you say to all these critics? And he says, well, I mean, I understand why they they, they think that I'm out of my you know out of my weight class. Why they say I'm not gonna I'm gonna have trouble making weight. Why Canelo is too strong for me, this and that. But no one knows Josito better than I do myself, right? That's what he said. I know I walk around at 170 to 175 when I'm not, you know, in training, when he's not, you know, he doesn't have to make weight for anything. He, he says he walks around at 170 to 175, and uh, he's a tall fighter, ta, ta alto el way. So, you know, it's it's not like he's, I don't, he says he nor his camp, they're not worried about making weight. They know it's, it's going to come easy for them. So that's not something that worries them. Now, you know, I, I see Josecito and he, he just has, a, you can tell he has a heart of a lion. He always goes forward. He tries to win his fights and he and he puts on a good show like against Victor Ortiz. That was, he was losing. He, he was under in, the, in all three judges scorecards. But, you know, you we all know what happened. He broke Ortiz's jaw in two places. And, uh, and you know, he put on a show. It wasn't like Ortiz was, was um, destroying him. Nah, man, this, this kid was responding. This kid took some shots, and you could tell he has a chin. He has a good chin. So Canelo, I don't know. But Mike, it's, it's not like it's going to be easy for Canelo. You know what I mean? It's not like it, he's going to have a, a breeze. Nah, I don't, that's why I'm not expecting a early, you know, second, a third, or fourth round knockdown or knockout victory for Canelo. I think, I do believe, honestly, um, I do, like I said, I do believe in, in Josecito. He has a, he has potential, and he has he, he's a good fighter. But I think Canelo Canelo is just going to be too much for him to handle. Uh, Josecito isn't really that much of a technical fighter. He doesn't, you know, he's not that technical. That that's what it is. He he goes forward. He 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 slugs it out with you. He puts on a great show, but. I don't, he's not that much of a technical fighter like Canelo, and I think that's where Canelo really is gonna, you know, counter punch him, you know, use you go to the body, mix it up with combinations, which is a great thing that he does. Canelo has speed and power, so I mean that that that's a deadly combo, obviously, and uh, yeah, I believe that Canelo is gonna win by vic by knockout. I'm sorry, pero it's gonna be in the like in the. I say from like the 8 to 12 round. Not early. I don't believe he's going to win early because he might knock him down early. But Josecito is a fighter with heart, man. This kid will not quit. He will keep con continue to get up till you actually, he can no longer get up. You know what I mean? Till you actually put him down for good. So, yeah, Canelo, no estar fácil. It's not going to be easy for him. Like as much as people are saying that if this is a breeze. People are complaining that Golden Boy, you know, chose this fight for Canelo. They're protecting him from Lara, from this and that. I, I mean, he's a cash cow for for Golden Boy. He, they, they're calling him the next Oscar de la Hoya. He's, he already has that fame. He's charismatic. He's a great boxer all around. So I mean, obviously they want to protect him to some certain extent, but don't worry, man. Those big fights will come. Those those fights against Lara, those fights against Cotto, against Mayweather. Hopefully Mayweather, because Mayweather's kind of getting old. He's in prison right now, so that is that. But, yeah, those fights are going to come, obviously. I, I did want to see him against Lara, against someone more, 
competitive. Uh, I mean, I, I obviously, like I said, I do think that Josito is going to give him a good fight, but it's not not to the point where he's going he's gonna to put Canelo in so, such danger of him losing the fight. And that's that's something that Lara can do. Obviously, Cotto can do that. Mayweather as well. Pacquiao, whatever. They re they could really beat Canelo, and uh, Josito could put him in, in trouble, but not the kind of tr the kind of trouble that he can get into with with Lara, Cotto, and stuff like that. So yeah, man. So here here you see uh, Lopez got it got saved right there, man. I almost put him down right here. We're in the third round. Obviously, I've been skipping through certain rounds, trying to keep the action in the fight. And uh, Lopez is gonna do something. That he should not, he shouldn't have done, man. He he's gonna do it. A big mistake. There he is. Look at him corner himself. Oh man, let him go, Canelo. Let him go, baby. Chingalo, chingalo. Baby, that left hook does it again for Canelo Alvarez. Oh, look at the way Josito Lopez's body goes, man. Ah, oh, that was that was bad, man. Left hook. Right uppercut. Let's see. Can Jose Torres get up? Of course, man. The man has heart not only in real life, in the real ring, but in fight night champion as well. So, I mean, he got up, but it's only a matter of time before he goes down again. He's not. He's looking kind of wobbly. He's not looking in top condition. Yeah, yes, yeah, too. That th th this is it, man. Canelo has to put him down. But um, all I'm saying, September 15th is Canelo's Canelo's fight, man. After that, after he wins, like I do believe he will win. The world is his. Golden Boy should stop protecting him after this fight. He should go after the Cotos, the Mayweathers, the Laras, the Pacquiao's. Different combinations of fighters. Speaking about combinations. Oh, man. Look at this deadly combination. Left hook once again. Then he follows it up with a straight right to finish it off. You know, just to add that extra little spice. Will Jose Lopez be able to get up after this deadly combination? I doubt it, bro. I think he's done. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my point is that after Canelo beats Josito Lopez September 15th, he is on the road to becoming one of the best fighters in his weight class on his weight division. He will be on the road to what our people call El Chingon, the Chingones. So yeah, El Chingon!